Hey, what's up everybody? So today we're taking a look at the all new Milwaukee portable job site lights, really. You can use these in mechanic shops, you can use these on the workbench, you can use them pretty much anywhere. They come with magnets, they're rechargeable, really cool stuff. I'll show you how bright they are, how they work, which one does what. I think you're gonna like these, stick around. All right, so we got a lot of different things going on over here. Let's get this one out of the way first. If you decide to buy the extra battery and the charger, you'll get this USB cable right here. It'll just plug right into the outlet and then into the light. It takes about 30 minutes to get a full charge. Now, we'll take a closer look at all of these here in a bit, but for build quality, these things are really built solid. Really, really built solid. I was really surprised that it didn't have that plastic fake feel to them. They're actually got some weight to them and I'll tell you what, it's it's quality. I'm, I'm pretty happy with how well these things are built. Now most of these lights are rechargeable. Two of them are not. I'll show you which ones here in a bit, but let's take a look at the battery charger and the spare battery that you can buy separately. All right, here's the red lithium battery and the charger. Now these are compatible with any USB rechargeable products that Milwaukee makes. I'll show you here in a bit how to place those into the actual lights themselves and then you got the flashlight that takes two double A's so this is not a rechargeable it does take two double A's all right let's take a look at my favorite light first this one here is the rechargeable pivoting floodlight 550 lumens this thing is really bright I'll show you here towards the end of the video but you got this collapsible leg right here that you can pretty much put anywhere you want you got this carabiner right here and you got two magnets on the end will stick very very strongly to metal and then this is where the battery is you just pop it out if you want you just put a new one in or you just throw that in the charger or you could just throw that USB right there once you plug it in if the battery's dead it'll go red once it's charged up completely it'll start flashing green now you got three different modes on this thing here 550 lumens which is the highest you're looking at two hours of runtime 250 lumens, which is the medium setting, you're looking at four and a half hours. And then 100 lumens, which is the lowest setting, 11 and a half hours runtime on that. So all you gotta do is pop that battery in, twist that cap right there, and it's ready to go. Check out how bright this thing is. This is the 550 lumens. There's the second and third setting right there. So you got the 550 lumens, 250 lumens, and 100 lumens. Check out how strong this magnet is though. I was really shocked by how powerful of a grip this thing actually has. I've been using this up on top of my garage door. I've been placing it up on top of the track for some extra lighting down on the work area. It does not move at all. It's really solid. Very, very impressed with how strong that magnetic grip is. Now again, you can pivot this up, down. The only issue I really found with this is that the power button is on the back and it's a little bit of a pain when you're trying to adjust the different settings when it's up in the air. You know, if it was on the side, I think it would have been a lot better, but that's just a small nitpick thing that I'm looking at. But other than that, this is my favorite light. I really like it. The next one we're looking at is the rechargeable pivoting flashlight. Spot and flood on this, 500 lumens on high, you can run it for two and a half hours, 400 lumens, you can run it three hours, and 100 lumens, 10 hours. One of the most shocking things I actually found about these lights is how far they actually shoot that beam. 155 meters for the beam distance on this alone. So it's pretty, pretty impressive. Not only how strong the magnet is on this as well, but how far and how wide those beams actually go for such a small, small light. Check it out, I'm telling you, check out that grip right there. Now, same thing on this. You can either just use the USB right here and plug it in to recharge or you can just take a new battery out, put a new one in, and it's ready to go again. You have your on right there, and then you have your different modes right here. So you can see the different shines that we have while hitting that mode button. And then you also got the nice little clip right here. You can throw it in your pocket, walk around with it. You got the pivoting head on here, real nice. It doesn't want to move around when you're walking. It stays put. It's really solid, very impressive. And again, that's a 110 degree pivoting head. And not to mention, all of these lights are water resistant, impact resistant, chemical resistant, so that's a plus as well. Now let's move on to the next one here. This is the magnetic floodlight. You see here, you got five LEDs right there in the front. Also very bright, but only 300 lumens for this one here. 
You also have the magnet on the bottom of the light right here. 300 lumens at five hours, that's on high, and then the low setting, 100 lumens at 16 hours. Again, check out how strong that magnet is. You also get the belt clip with this. Now, an FYI for you, this is not a rechargeable light. It takes two AA batteries, it just goes in the bottom right there. Once you put those in, they're ready to go. And last but not least, the new 325 lumen focusing flashlight. Now this also gives you the option of spot or flood. Really well constructed, very heavy duty. It's a little bit heavier for such a small flashlight, but man, it's, it's really solid all metal casing. Got a nice grip on there. You also got the pocket clip right here. Just a really nice flashlight, also very bright. Now the thing about this is when you push that button, It'll kick on the high, you push it again, shuts off, you push it again, turns on the low, push it again, goes off. So it's not a high, low, off, high, low, off. And the other thing I will mention, and this is not a rechargeable light, this takes three AAA batteries. You put them right down here in the bottom in this little case right here. And once you put the new batteries in, you're ready to go. Now the batteries do come with these lights, you will get the Three AAA batteries. The high beam at 325 lumens, you're looking at five hours of runtime at 115 meter beam distance, which is pretty nice. The low beam, 25 lumens for 18 hours at 33 meters for beam light. So it is pretty bright. And right here again is your charger. All you got to do to charge the batteries on this is plug in the USB that I showed you. They're all interchangeable. Just open up that flap right there at the battery light is red that means that it needs a charge if it starts flashing green you're good to go now once you have that battery charged up take it out put your dead battery in put the USB plug that back in again and you got another battery ready to go all right there you go I'm just showing you what that light looks like and that looks like that on all of the rechargeable lights when that's green that means it's done charging just take that USB right out put that flap down on there so you don't get any water dust in it all right, now we are outside, pitch black. I got the hood of my truck open. Check this out, I got this on high. This is the pivot head light. This thing is really, really bright, and it's not that really harsh, bright beam. You know, this nailing you in the eyes, it almost has like a softer glow to it. So it's really nice, it sends a lot of light throughout the entire motor. So if you have issues seeing when you're underneath that hood or any small tight area, I'm telling you, check it out how bright that thing actually gets and we'll put it on medium and then we'll put it on low and then we'll shut it off. Again, pitch black. All right, right now we're looking at the magnetic floodlight. So 300 lumens on this thing, this is on high. And what's nice is I got that magnet. I put it right there on top of the hood. Check it out right here. Really, really bright. That thing's not going anywhere. Very solid grab, but check out how bright that is for only 300 lumens. And again, I can bring that down to low if I want, or just shut it off, bring it back up to high, low, off again. All right, let's use the pivot light here. Now, what's nice about this is you've got the floodlight and the spotlight. You can really focus that beam on the actual spotlight itself, or if you want that wider spread, just go to the floodlight. It's pretty nice. All you gotta do is hit that mode button and it'll switch in between different modes. You can also swivel that head up there. So if I wanted to use it as a regular flashlight, if I wanted to put this on top of the hood like I did the other lights with the magnet, you can do that as well. Now let's take a look at the flashlight. All right, the flashlight here, we got it on low. I gotta be honest with you, it's a little too low for me at 25 lumens, but the high, I really like that 325 lumens. You know, you got that really nice spread on that. You know, I was using this to walk down into the shed area tonight. It's pitch black, it's cloudy. No light at all, got a really nice focus beam on that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's bright. For a small flashlight like this, yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice. I wanna show you one other thing here. This is what I was talking about, being able to use the magnet up on the rail of my garage door opener. 550 lumen, and I'll tell you what, that's the only light in this garage, and it's shining that whole work area. Now, all in all, I really, really like these lights. I think they're gonna come in really, really handy, especially if you're a mechanic or a plumber or somebody that's under a sink or trying to get to those areas that are just too dark. I think you're really gonna enjoy these lights. I think they're really gonna light up that area for you. The only real other major issue I had was because these are LED and they have multiple lights in them, really gave me a hard time making shadow puppets up on the wall. 
But if you're okay with that, definitely check these out. I'll put a link in the description below for these. If you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe, check us out at tourgizone.com. We'll be back with more videos soon.